Hey, how you guys doing? Today, I want to talk about the top five browsers that everybody should either know or be aware of. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Just want to take a minute to ask if you believe in what I'm doing, and you like what this channel is about, and you like the content that this channel has, why don't you pop on over to our Patreon page, over at patreon.com, the Linux tube, and become a member there. The top five browsers today are ones, well, the ones that I feel are the top five, which are, is talked about a lot, and, um, <clears throat> Is something that, that a lot of people use every day. You know, your browser is important. Uh, I mean, you use it every day to go online, to do different things online, and you should have a sense of security, privacy, and freedom when you're using your browser. I think those are the three most important things that you should have when using your browser. And the browsers that I've picked today do those things. And you should have reasonable speed as well. Now, when people talk about browsers being fast, this, that, and other, years ago, it was really, really bad. Some were really, really slow, and some were really, really fast. You you could noticeably tell the difference between them. Now, today, it's a little harder to tell the difference. I mean, there are some that are faster than others, but by just milliseconds, not seconds, you know. And to me, a millisecond is nothing to really sweat over. So I don't know really you know what to say to that i mean there are certain settings that you can go in and you can enable in a browser especially uh, mozilla there used to be a tutorial that you can download or, or sorry read online and it'll walk you through the step by step on how to make it faster uh, which i'm assuming you could apply those same methods to some of the other mozilla based ones and it'll work the same uh but either way so let's go ahead and get started with the first browser. The first one is going to be Brave. Now, Brave is very beautiful to look at. This is one I use every day because it is very secure. It's fast enough for me. It's I'm easy. It's freely use it and go anywhere on the internet with it without issues, right? And it's secure. And it keeps my privacy because that's what it's geared for. If you go down to the bottom, the features that it has is it has invasive ads blocked, cross-site trackers are blocked, cookies are blocked, fingerprinting is blocked, malware and phishing protection is in place. It protects against bounced tracking, and it also anon uh, anonymized network routing with Tor mode, which is simply, if you look, because this is what I'm using right now, if you look right here, on the right hand side right here new private window with tor it is 100 percent protected is it fallible of course i'm not gonna say that it's infallible because they're everything's fallible to a degree you know what i mean but this one takes steps to to prevent you know malicious things happening to you in fact as you can see here in the picture in the upper right hand corner when you first open it, it tells you how many ads are blocked and trackers are blocked how much bandwidth you saved because of it and how much time of your life you saved because of it as well so but what also i want to point out is, is that it has a new super app that they came out with this last time i believe that it updated that they updated it came out with the new super app and what it it's really cool because it brings uh, it has their own search engine right they you can do free video calls with it you can play offline playlists with it and you can customize your news feeds with it yeah there's news feeds that you can have posted on there that that'll give you tiles of of different news subjects that you want so you can do that as well with it so i mean brave i strongly suggest it is my daily driver uh i came to it a couple years ago when it first came out 
And I just really like the look and feel and the cleanliness and the simplicity of it all. You know, uh, it is chromium based for sure, but securely chromium based. And so uh, I just enjoyed it and I liked it and I stuck with it. There's Brave. Let's look at Brave. Next one on our list is Mozilla Firefox. Now, is Brave better than Mozilla or is Mozilla better than Brave? Eh, six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Either way, they're to me, they're one and two or one and two. You know what I mean? They could be 100% interchangeable because Brave has so much security in it that it's definitely merits a number one spot. And Mozilla has been around long enough and has promoted privacy and security and has extensions that you can input to do to, to add to it to do so many things that it could be number one as well. So to me, they're 100% interchangeable in the one and two spot. Mozilla has privacy embedded in it as well. It has all these blockers embedded in it as well that you can get through extensions as well. And just like Brave, Mozilla is also available on mobile platform. So almost all of these are available on mobile platform that I'm gonna talk about today. Firefox has been around for a very, very long time. In fact, the people that used to be uh, Netscape are the ones that once their whole internet explorer day battles were over with, they left Netscape and went over to Mozilla and created the Firefox browsers. So the Firefox browser for desktop and Android is all out there. Um, the features are you can do picture in picture. So uh, what's nice about that is like, say you're playing a YouTube video, uh, you go to uh, one need to go to some other web page, you click on it and it'll just go right down into a picture in picture. So it's playing in the bottom right hand corner of your place. You can do color accentuations, customizing. You could add um, extra layers of protections through uh, the DNS over HTTPS, all, all kinds of different things. It is it meets my three criteria where it's it's free. You can freely go anywhere on the internet. There's no limitation to it whatsoever. It's secure and you have privacy. You can go to their add-ons and they have tons of add-ons that you can download for this through their extensions, extension manager. And it's just insane. I mean, they have hundreds upon hundreds. Like they got the anti-tracking extensions. They got YouTube customization ones. I mean, there's just so much development done into this into this browser that that it's just it's crazy they have themes sorry i meant to click on themes they have themes galore as well i used to use mozilla firefox uh, and i i interchange between both in fact most of my systems have firefox and brave browser on i just use browser or brave brave more you know honestly but either way it, it's it's a very suitable uh browser to use uh it's one of the most common ones and it is fantastic and that's a look at firefox next one on the list is falcon now falcon is a very simple looking browser it's a lot like mozilla uh in fact it's qt it's got a qt web engine based it's made for KDE. The ad blocking's already done, baked into it. Simple and fast browser. It has 15 extensions and only like two themes, as you can see here, uh, that you can pick from. Uh, so it's not it's not extensively supported like Firefox browser, but it is actually a very good browser. I've used it before, and it's and it's it's actually quite clean. That's what I like about it is the clean look of it, you know, right off the bat, as you can see here in the picture, it's it's very clean. Uh, it uses uh, the different search engines like DuckDuckGo, Chrome, and a couple other ones I can't remember off the bat. But anyhow, it uses those. So that's a look at Falcon as well. Pale Moon. Now, Pale Moon, this one I've used a couple of times, and I like it. Uh, to me... It, if you look at the picture here, it's very semblant to Internet Explorer to me. It feels a lot like Internet, the old Internet Explorer. It's, it's very neat. I, I really, I really, really enjoy it. You know, it's, 
I've used it a couple of times. I really liked it. It is very customizable. There's tons of extensions that you could add to it through alerts and updates, appearances, bookmarks and tabs, uh, t different tools and utilities. There's tons of uh, extensions for it. Uh, it is definitely Mozilla Firefox based as well. There's themes galore as well for it that are made by them as well as the regular ones that you can find from Firefox as well. Uh, there's different search plugins that you could add to it as well. I mean, if you look, here's a bunch of them, which you can also do the same thing with the Mozilla Firefox. It's amazing. You know, this, this, I like Pale Moon. Uh, it's, it, it also has privacy built into it as well. Once again, a lot of the same privacy features that Firefox has built into it. It does. Uh, you can use this one with confidence. That is a look at Pale Moon. Now, the next one is Midori. Now, why Midori? It, there's really, it, it, it's mainly because of how fast it is and secure. It has all the, 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 the tracking, you know, blockers in there, the ad blockers in there, but it's really, really, really fast. This is one that literally when you run it, you're like, whoa, that, that's actually pretty smoking fast. I mean, it's got a very basic user interface that based very similar to Firefox as well. Um, it's available cross-platform on Linux you know, Windows, Mac, Android, and uh, as they say right here on the webpage, they're, they're de in development for iOS right now. All the other ones that I did as well are multi-platform, you know, as well. They're cross-platform uh, operating system or um, web browsers as well. Midori is more of an honorable mention because of how fast it is, how simple it is, and it does have security built into it. Got a million plus downloads, and there are 750,000 people currently, according to the webpage, using Midori right now so it's gaining in popularity and that's why I'm I'm mentioning it it's easy to use as it says you know it's connected to the world and you have total privacy with it so that will be the fifth one so a browser's a browser I mean like I said as long as it protects your privacy is securely developed to where there, it's not being broken there's not a lot of hacks not a lot of things on it and you have the ability to add extensions and or already blocked in privacy features that's great that's though that i believe is what you should be looking for in a browser the privacy and the security are tantamount to choosing the correct browser because the browser is something that everybody uses every day guys let me know what you guys think or if there's a browser I, that you guys think should be out there or should i should have mentioned hey le drop a comment down below please don't forget to like subscribe and follow us over on patreon become a member over there on patreon to help support the channel we greatly appreciate what you guys do you guys do what you guys do and keep on linuxing and have a great day